Hi, welcome to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to convert a utility wrench into what you just saw now, a turntable. So a remote control turntable. In fact, it's running on a uh, 6 volt battery using um, a uh, halogen flashlight, which you can also check on the upper right corner on how to convert that into a battery packed 6 volt uh, battery for this uh, device. Okay, this is a turntable, remote control turntable device. Alright, let's get started. So this is a battery powered device. So you notice I have a remote control as well. It's, you can turn it clockwise or counterclockwise. Notice where the motor is. It's found just beneath the uh, turntable. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so what you need is a stool like this one here. I'm going to remove the screw on the bottom. And uh, all I need is the base for now, the uh, plastic base and uh, the rest of the pieces like the uh, stand, the metal part and the screw will save it for later. We're going to use that to hold the uh, motor. Okay, so we'll keep that and put it away. Okay, now we're going to drill a little hole in the middle center of the base of the stool. Okay, and uh, next thing is we need to uh, disassemble the utility winch. Um, First, using um, Allen key and other uh, screwdriver to remove all the bolts, nuts and bolts, right from there. You see, I'm doing that right now. Okay. And then notice the piece of um, wire, the cable wire. We need to take that out, uh, put it away. Notice I use a large um, foam to uh, roll it out. Okay. So so I, I'm still going to use it for some other project later on. All right, and um, next. Okay, so now once we disassembled the wench, we're going to reassemble it and test it out. Okay, so notice that I just have the wheel part of the wench. I'm just trying to test it out to make sure it's working properly. Um, uh, notice that uh, it's hooked up to a battery. Okay, now let's see if we can um, put it into the stool, the base stool. Of the chair, I'm gonna screw it in. Notice I just gonna screw it in, and then uh, what I'm gonna do is there's a piece of uh, plastic that I can just tighten it, right? So now the base is completed. What we want now is to ensure that it's tight, okay, and that it's rotate properly, okay, like that, okay. Now let's test it out. So notice, um. Uh, it's completed. Uh, I put the engine, uh, the motor, on the bottom, and then the the piece, the chair uh, leg piece, are just holding the motor part. So, and then here is a remote control to control it. 